Welcome back to Pogmaster's channel. In this video, we will demonstrate how to complete the power wiring and setup for the PoHVN 6.2K 48V LIP all in one solar inverter. First, mount inverter on the suitable board. Here we use a perforated board for demonstration purposes and secure it with a cable tight. For long turns and safe operation, ensure to mount inverter on the wall using metal squares. Maintain a distance of more than 20 cm between each inverter and keep about 50 cm of clearance above and below to ensure adequate ventilation around the inverters. After removing the port covers from the inverters, begin wiring. First, connect the three inverters to the same battery bank, ensuring the correct polarity and equal cable lengths from each inverter to the bus bar. Ensure all terminals are tightened securely. Poor connections or small contact areas can increase resistance, causing unnecessary energy loss and overheating risks. In this demonstration, our battery cables are too long, so it's recommended to minimize the distance between the inverters and the bus bar to reduce voltage drop. Next, connect the AC input cables to the third inverters, ensuring to connect ground, life, and neutral wires to the each inverter. Then connect the load wires to each inverter's output terminals, ensuring proper connection of the life and neutral wires. Refer to diagrams for single-phase and three-phase applications. For single-phase applications, connect the live wire of the AC input terminals of all three inverters to utility live wire, and connect the live wire of the AC output terminals to the low live wire. For three-phase applications, the live wire terminals of the AC input for the three inverters should be connected to L1, L2, and L3 of the utility. Specifically, the first inverter should connect to L1, the second inverter should connect to L2, and the third inverter to L3. Similarly, the live wire terminals of the AC output should follow the same logic and connect to L1, L2, and L3 of the load respectively. After completing the AC wiring, connect three separate PV arrays to the three inverters. Ensure that same PV arrays is not connected to multiple inverters to avoid irreversible damage to the main board. The last step in wiring is the parallel communication connection. Following the illustrated pattern, connect port 1 of the first inverter to port 2 of the second inverter, port 1 of the second inverter to port 2 of the third inverter, And finally, connect port 1 of the third inverter to port 2 of the first inverter. After completing the connections, power on the inverters and begin the parallel setup. First, we will demonstrate the program configuration for single phase parallel use. Enter setting item 28 and select the PAL. If you cannot confirm the selection, Press the power button to put the device into standby mode. Then press the enter button to confirm the option. Finally, press the power button again to ensure the inverter enters operation mode. If the fault code 17 appears on the main page during setup, do not worry. It will disappear after setup is completed. Do the same for the other two inverters. Setting item 28 to PAL. After the setup is done, the main page of the inverter will display a P icon in the lower right corner. The first inverter to complete the setup will be designated as the master unit with a flashing P icon.
why the slave units will display a no flashing pin icon. Next, we will demonstrate how to set up for three-phase power use. After powering on the device, enter setting 28. Select the 3P1 for the inverter connected to L1 phase, 3P2 for the inverter connected to the L2 phase, and 3P3 for the inverter connected to the L3 phase. After the setup is complete, the respective phase information will be displayed. And after normal operation begins, the phase information display will hit. That concludes the power look guide for the Po HVN 6.2K 48 volt LIP on one solar inverter. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.